Welcome to Microchem's experiments. Subscribe the channel to enrich your laboratory skills. In this video, we are going to test an oil sample for the determination of iodine value. The test involves four steps, chemical preparation, sample and blank preparation, titration and calculation. To do this test, we need a balance machine, beveled with stand, measuring cylinder, IV flask, spatula, filler, pipette, filter paper, funnel, beaker and hot plate. Among the chemicals, we need starch, potassium iodide, sodium thiosulfate, carbon tetrachloride and with solution. Let's start the analysis. Chemical preparation is very crucial for any test. Before going for the main test, we will prepare chemicals and reagents. For the preparation of 1% starch solution, measure 50 ml of distilled water and take it in a 100 ml beaker. Place the beaker on a hot plate and heat the water to boil. Take weight of 0.5 gram of starch soluble and transfer into the boiling water. Stir the solution with a cleaned glass rod while boiling to dissolve the starch in water. Clean and transparent solution indicates that the starch is dissolved in water completely. After dissolving the starch, filter the solution immediately using a filter paper. Collect the filtrate and use it in the test as 1% starch indicator. For the preparation of 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate, add 2.5 grams sodium thiosulfate in 80 ml distilled water. solution to dissolve the sodium thiosulfate crystal in water completely. Cool the solution and add enough distilled water to make the final volume of 100 ml. Standardize the solution before use. Now we have to prepare our sample along with the blank. Sample weight varies depending on the expected iodine value. Take a certain amount of sample following the table showed on the screen. For this test, we will take 2.5 to 3.1 grams of oil sample in an IV flask as the expected iodine value of our sample is 10. Note the sample weight. Prepare a blank flask without taking sample into it. Keep a 25 ml carbon tetrachloride, pour into the sample flask and close the flask with its lid immediately. Pipet another 25 ml into the blank flask and close it with the lid. Add 25 ml with solution into the both flasks and close them with the lids.
take and rotate the flush clockwise and anti-clockwise to mix properly. Now add an overlay on the conjunction of the flask and lid. Do it for both of the flasks. Keep the flasks in the dark for 30 minutes. Take 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate in a buret. Take the initial buret reading. Add 100 ml distilled water into the sample flask, washing the lids and shake the flasks again. Measure 1 ml of starch solution and keep ready to use later in the titration. Third titration of sample liberating sodium thiosulfate solution from the burette. Add pre-measured stirred solution into the flask when it seems that the solution color is becoming lighter. Resume the titration with vigorous agitation of the flask. The white color indicates the end point of the titration. Shake the flask for 30 seconds to ensure that the white color is unchanged. Note the final be retreating. Do the titration of blank as same as sample.
resume the titration if the blue color returns. Now we will calculate the peroxide value of our sample. At first, we will put the values in the right side of the board. Sample weight WS is 2.7243 grams. Normality of sodium thiosulfate is 0.1. We can find out the volume of 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate needed for titration of blank by subtracting the final bearweight reading from the initial reading, which is 36.4 ml. Similarly, we can find the volume of 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate used in the titration of sample, which is 13.6 ml. Let's put all of the values in the equation given in the left side of the board. By solving the equation, we get the iron value of our sample is 10.62.